Hello from January 2016 Greenhouse in Michigan. As you see, the greenhouse is dying. So we had an aphid issue, then we had a mold issue, then my dad had a heart attack and for two weeks I wasn't watering regularly and a lot of stuff dried out and is dead or dying. Which it already was on its way out because the mold pretty much killed half of the things I had in here if you see all these empties. Yeah, that those are all dead because of mold. First it was aphids, then it was mold. Then now it's they're dry. Half of them are. I could probably still save this one. I watered them a little bit just today. I got some herbs. I'll be bringing the herbs inside and putting a light up for the winter. Which, it's Michigan, and the only winter we'd had pretty much just began. So, it's not going to be very long. Maybe a month or two, and then I'll start back out for my spring starts for my garden outside. Yay! So, I'm probably going to give my pineapples away. They're almost two years old, and I haven't seen a flower yet. And, as you can see, they're also suffering because I haven't watered them regularly. And the mold and the aphid issue, again, that hasn't been fixed. So, well, I tried. I did the spray twice. I, I did it once, and then two weeks later I did another spray, but I just wasn't regular enough on that and watching for aphids because I really didn't know what to watch for for aphids out here. We had white flies in the house in the basement, and then, hi, Bonnie. We had white flies when we had the plants in the basement, and now we have what are look like the white flies, but when I turn the plants over underneath them, if I wait a couple of days, I'd probably come out here if I don't do anything, and there'll be like little green spots all over it. They look like little eggs. Those are little bugs. So I've been finding aphids. So I'll be giving them a good spray down. Then we'll be bringing them in the house for about a month and a half because paying the heat on this thing is not working out. We've so far, what I'm thinking is we go through about a 100 pound tank. I'll show you what they look like. They're not the little ones. So we got it on a little one right now just so we have an, a pilot that can go at night to keep it above 40. But we've been doing the 100 pounders and that's only lasting like two weeks maybe if I keep it on pilot. So we've got this. So if I leave it just on the pilot light, you know, just a little flame like this keeps this at about, it'll keep it above 40. And we've got the little electric one for backup emergency, and I got the fan blowing because, well, the mold, I need a fan because I still have a water issue. So you see there's water weeping up in there. I don't know why, because I put that foil tape on the bottom of them. But you see on the wood, along the wood there, it weeps in, and then it weeps under here, and then it goes, and it stays underneath my everything. So we're going to be building shelves here. We have to caulk on the outside along the wood and metal base where that meets along that rail on the outside that needs to be caulked. And then whatever these diagonals, they both leak as well. As you can see the puddle at the bottom there. So water regularly forms at, at that area as well right below that, plus the dew drops down from that too. There'll be moisture that drops down from there that you can't help. So, also back to the moisture issue, um, with the mold and the aphids that we had, um, we are realizing that this is, obviously this isn't working. I had to hang it there so it was at an optimal level to reach all the plants and everything. But really, um, what we're going to do is we got some computer fans, those little four inch, they're like four inch tall computer fans, and we're going to somehow hook them up to like batteries or solar or something. We'll, we'll let you know how that goes. But I'm going to put an exhaust fan. So somewhere on the outside, at the bottom, you know, underneath here maybe, we'll cut a little hole in the plastic, or maybe even over here, wherever it works out best. But we're going to cut a hole in the plastic, caulk around it, and we will put a little screen over it. And then we got one of them dryer vents with the flappers to go over that as well. And it fits perfectly. So we'll be um, 
We'll be putting an exhaust fan there, and then we'll probably have three or four of those computer fans that we'll put, like, up in the corners, maybe, you know, cir circulating it much better. So, for right now, um, what's going on is we had aphids, we had mold, my dad had a heart attack, so for the last two weeks I haven't been really watering regularly, so everything that wasn't dying before or didn't die already is now heading out the door. So, I think I've got two kales to save. These pineapples are probably salvageable, and um, a bunch of these herbs. That's that's pretty much it. So I think kale and cucumbers is the only thing I really want to try in here from continuing on um, over this winter period. So for the next month and a half, I'll just salvage what's going what's left here. I think I got a Swiss chard or two. Uh, there's a Swiss chard. I I'm thinking that looks fine. I think that's that'll be salvageable this lilac is coming back but I think it's just winter it should probably be you know winterizing anyway and um, this one looks pretty dead oh and this look at I found this this at the Salvation Army it's called a pot sack and you just put it over your pot so anyway this I might be able to save we'll see we'll see this is not looking so good for the size of that and what's left we'll see so there'll be a few things that I save there'll be a, a lot that I throw out and we just start back up I think I'll start I think everybody starts planting the end of February early March to get a good head start on the season get your plants a couple months you know a month old or something before you plant them so I'll be looking more into that oh look I don't know if you can see the truck there's like ice coming off of it. That's funny. We've got the new roof rack on there. That's going to be, that's going to be a whole different video. Eric's review on the roof rack. It's, it might not be pretty. It looks okay now though. Much better now that it's installed. So, all right, well, thanks for keeping up to date with me. I gotta go in and get a glass of water sitting out here talking in the winter. It's dry out here. It's finally dry out here right now, but the sun hasn't been here in a long time. So I'll fire up this heater and um, put it on pilot and head in. So, oh dang, I just bent my thumbnail back. All right. Plant power, plant peace, eat plants, y'all. Grow a little bit something. I may have failed for this winter, but we will start again and don't give up. All right. Have an awesome year.